Hi, right, y'all. What is going on, guys? And today we're back with another banger video. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we got a vlog because this, vi this literally this channel has become a vlog channel. So hope y'all enjoying the ride of me just vlogging my day to day, my week to week, my 48 hours to 48 hours, whatever I'm doing. Um, but basically, uh, I have a field trip right now at school, and it's currently like 8 in the morning, and I'm already in Brooklyn, so I'm out here in Brooklyn right now. And we gotta go to something, because we have to do a volunteer thing, so we're going to that, but we're near uh, Japan Village in Brooklyn as well, so probably after we're done with that, we're gonna stop by. But let's head off to what we gotta do first, because it's gonna take like 3 hours, like it's literally from 9 to 12, so let's go. It's actually really pretty over here though. It is 10.10. We've been working for like 30 minutes. They got us cutting materials. <laughs> literally, I'm literally doing this for the next two hours. I'm taking this, lifting the staples, and placing it in a bin. No, I saw that big ass deck we got for like five bucks. Bro, five bucks! I was like, no way! Hey yo, Why you get out! Why is he carrying the gang signs? Dude, are you a gang banger? Oh my god. He's dangerous. Oh my goodness. Get to work, boys. Yep. Yep. That's what. This don't gotta go in the vlog. This, this, uh, yeah, this, this, I think this gotta go in the vlog. That's that. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna work. Christian, what are you wearing, bro? Duh. Yo, they low key hard. Yo, low key Christian. Wait, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Let me see the bottoms. Yo, those is actually tough. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Kyle, stop. Just stop, bro. Just stop. Get back to work, bro. Turn around real quick. Oh, the gaddies. Kyle, just stop, bro. Just give up. These are all FIC fits. Yo, if you would actually see some of FIC rooms. Why is your. <laughs> They're bored. They're definitely bored. We are only an hour in. We have two to three more hours of this. Ah, look at all the trash bags. It's all fabrics that we're pulling out of the bags. Alright, y'all, we're finally leaving, and now we're trying to find. Now we're trying to find the bathroom because we were in there for like two, three hours almost. So I thought she said it was right here. She lied. It's not here. All right, just go in the corner. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay. All right, y'all. We're pulling up to Japan Village. I literally haven't been here in like a year. So I want to see what's changed. If there's anything new. Last time I was here was for the one-year anniversary of the book off opening, and I know a lot of other stuff has opened since then. So we're about to go in. All right, y'all, we're going to book off, so let's go. All right, y'all, we're going up the sketchy stairs, if y'all remember. So, oh, they also opened a Daiso, so that's new in here, but let's go up. All right, y'all, it looks way cooler in here. Last time it was, like, under construction, but now it's, like, all open up here. They got little claw machines, other stuff as well. All right, y'all, we're going to go into the book off now, so let's see what they got. And it's just like any other book off, so it's just like you could sell stuff here as well. And then they got all their imported goods, obviously, all these figures on the outside, which you can look at. And then I didn't even go inside yet. Kyle and Christian went in, but they have a lot of different figures just shown on the outside. But let's go inside and see what they got. So this is what it looks like on the inside. As you can tell, it's just like the other book offs, just a little bit smaller, obviously. But they still got all the little bagged goodies and stuff like that. Oh my god, they got an acrylic. What is this? Oh, I thought it was acrylic for a dollar. I was about to cop so fast, but yeah, there's a lot to look through, so we're gonna take our time and look through. They made like a whole Tokyo Revengers section, which is kind of cool because Book Off normally just throws everything in one section, but it's cool that they kind of separated it. Same thing over here, more Tokyo Revengers stuff. They got a lot. And then all this as well. Damn, that's a big one. I will say though, the prices in here are definitely better than the one in Manhattan. Like, I feel like the one in Manhattan would be like head cracking. What'd you find? Oh, 25th anniversary? Let me see. 25th anniversary. How much? 26? Not bad. Not bad. Me and Kyle found a Kuriko's figure for $5, which is not bad. I know I'm like selling stuff because of the apartment, which if you guys didn't see, go check out that video. But, I mean, like, some things I'm gonna be like, yeah, nah, I need it, but. I don't know. There's a lot of little things. Look at this Sasuke, three dollars. What the heck? Why he look like that? <laughs> Why they did Neji like that? All white arms is crazy. I got this little Heroes and uh, figure for five dollars. He's black and white. 
They got a bunch of little cube pasta kits from Curco's. They have blue lock ones as well. And they're only $15, which isn't bad because that's less than how much they actually cost. They got a bunch of can badges. If y'all know, I'm trying to make a can badge bag. So this might be tempting. Oh, they got it. Is this a Curco's one? Yeah, it is. Oh, definitely going to pick this up for the bag then. Three bucks, not bad. Y'all know I got an acrylic stand addi addiction. So let's see if they got anybody cool that I might want. But I don't know. It's looking like mainly just keychained ones. I've never seen these before. These like 50th anniversary series things. It's got all like the best, I guess, like shown in anime. Is that supposed to be Kuriko? Oh, it is. It's Kuriko, Ichigo, Naruto. That's cool. All right, y'all, I copped all the little Kuriko stuff. Came out to like $11, but they have all these gotcha machines and like little things. So let's see if they got anything cool and worth spending, aka wasting money on. But damn, look at the one with the scissors too. They got this. Yo, I got to play something. I want to play something. I'm itching to play. They got Naruto. Oh, Naruto arcade battle. This is uh -huh. tough. Now I gotta see which ones they got. All right, y'all, I got $5. So I'm gonna try to go for this one. I don't know if it's really gonna pick it up, but I already have the other one, so I really want this one. All right, let's try. It's not, I don't think it's even gonna like grab. I don't know like what angle to do it at because it's not gonna grab it. Look, see? Damn, bro, this is gonna be hard. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. I'm still gonna, you know, blow the five cash on it, but I just gotta figure out a better way to get it to angle. Like, I need it to, like, lift it, but it's not gonna lift. It's on too weird of an angle, bro. Fuck. Let's see. Damn, bro, it really don't grab nothing. I would go for that one's probably easier, but again, I already have that, so it's like, what? Oh. What happened? I got one. You got one? Yeah, I got one. No way, what'd you get? Um, Alright, bet, bet. Damn, y'all. Five bucks, waste. Anyway, Christian just won something from the Attack on Titan little acrylic stand things, which is cool, yeah, so. Gonna... Let's see. Are oh, you going for the Chainsaw Man one? That th the thing about those though, it don't pick up. Nah, no, it picks up. Does it? Yeah. No way, bro. No way, Christian. <laughs> yeah. No way, bro. Yo, screw Christian, bro. They got Evangelion stuff, but I don't even know what it is. This is like the serum thing. Damn. Let me try for that one. You gonna try for that? Yeah, like on this side. Bet, bet, bet. Aw, damn. I would say just keep trying that one. The one that's close to the edge. Because I feel like you might be able to get it in. Or if you angle it so it like flips, so if you go for this one, you might hit that one in. I don't know. I'm just trying to think what might be easier. Or like any that are sitting on the edge, honestly. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. See if it'll... Yeah, nah. No, Damn. No. Right, no. I don't know what that Dang, is. bro. It's like a... It's I know, like it's a... like paint, but like... Yeah, it's weird, like Evangelion Color Series. Damn. Yeah. You got it, bro. You got it. Come on, I believe in you. Yeah. Don't mess up. Damn. Yo, that thing does not grab. <laughs> Alright, y'all, I just won Zeke from the Attack on Titan one, but I don't want him at all. <laughs> Let's see, I might have just assisted Christian in hitting it closer to the edge. Oh my, you just put it back in place, bro. <laughs> all right, y'all, we just took Flicks outside, but now we're in the grocery store, but I had to take some Flicks for Timex because I got another Timex watch deal. I didn't even show y'all, but Flicks on my Instagram, but I need some chips or something because your boy is hungry and I don't know which ones to get. Which one's like the regular potato chips? These ones, I think? Uh, yeah. I mean, they got um, Doritos. I think it's this one. one. Nah, I'm not gonna get no basic. Alright, y'all, I'm getting a little snack haul, cause why not? Six and a half hours later. Oh, so we are finally back home. I just had the second class after, I don't know what the last clip I was showed y'all, but I just went to my second class, now I'm back home. It's currently 4.37. We've been out since 7 o'clock this morning. Um, I got one of my midterms back. I got a 98 on it. Uh, that's like the only written midterm I've had in a while. Uh, and then I took some pants from the place that we were at. It's called Fab Scraps. And basically it's a bunch of scrap. You guys saw like all the trash bags are full of like materials, swatches, those type of things. Like I took this right here, which I'll make something out of probably on a sneaker or something like that. It's literally like a piece of like a jacket. Um, but I didn't go crazy. Like you could take like up to five pounds and stuff. I literally took half a pound, those two things. Um, and then we went to book off and I was able to get a bunch of Curco stuff, which I'm very excited about. Like I said, these two, I know I'm moving and I'm literally cutting down on stuff and I'm selling OD stuff on whatnot. But um, 
These two are gonna go on the pin bag, which I'm making anyway, and then I just really wanted this, dude, because when I do have my new section in my future new apartment, um, I do want a Kurikos section, and I only have one Kurikos figure, like a big one, and I thought this little one would be cool next to it. So hopefully I can get a base for him, because he didn't come with a base, and everything there was like $10. Uh, then I won something from the claw machine me and Christian were playing just for fun. I'm probably gonna sell this on whatnot just because I didn't want this one. Um, I couldn't see which character it was, but I want it, so probably gonna sell it on whatnot. And I'm making like a bunch of whatnot sections, which obviously you guys are gonna see, but I have a whole Funko Pop section for whatnot. So these are all the Funko Pops I'm getting rid of slowly. Like I'm picking them and putting them down here, like it's two rows of them. And then this is all like the anime stuff I'm gonna be getting rid of in an anime stream, which this I can add to now. So this is building up slowly. I'm just going through all my stuff. All the Funko Pops here though, I'm pretty sure I'm keeping. I think those are the only Funkos I'm selling. And then I gotta go through all the figures I have. Um, which is kind of what I got that little shelf from, but slowly getting that. But that'll be, if you guys didn't see the apartment video, go check it out. We're going to be making more apartment moving videos, have all my manga right there and all that stuff. But the reason I was telling y'all all that is not because I just had to put that over there. It's because I got three more bags of Fashion Nova. They sent me a duplicate order. So now I have double the amount of clothes for a whatnot stream, which I'm probably going to do tomorrow. My time tomorrow, not your tomorrow, but again... Go follow the whatnot. I cannot stress it enough. The link is in the description. I'm going crazy with the streams on there. Um, and uh, yeah, now I'm going to go through all this fashion over clothes. Go through my closet a little bit. Um, I'm not going to like go through my closet in depth because I'm going to make that a video where like I get rid of like half my closet. Um, just so I can move easier. Um, but in terms of fashion over clothes, I'm going to go through my fashion over orders and stuff. And the fashion over clothes I have in the closet and just make a big whatnot stream for tomorrow. So... Yeah, anyway, I think that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy. That was a calm day in the life, a regular day in the life. I feel like I haven't done like just one day in the life. It's always like two, three days, four days spread out. This was simply one day in my life. So appreciate y'all joining me and following along. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll catch y'all in the next vlog. Stay tuned for future vlogs and moving videos. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Catch you in the next one and we out. Grr. Baby, what's the vibe? Hop inside a ride. I know you wanna slide. Know you wanna slide with me. Cause I'm vibing, baby girl, I'm vibing. Don't show up to the party with no violence. Don't show up to the party with no violence. I take you out, I break you out, I got you smiling. My love is different, so take a picture. Then I just might have to buy it rich and Millie, then get rich again. Yeah, that's my mission plan.